Oh, sleepovers really are the greatest, aren't they? Mm-hmm. You know, my love, to be honest, I didn't quite realize that you were the type to invite me over. You always seem so reserved. It's kind of cute. <laughs> What's that? You didn't invite me? Oh, my love. How many times have we been through this already? Shh. Let's just pretend that you did, okay? Good. Anyways, I'm so glad you did. I really am. Because now I can be here with you instead of all by myself at home doing nothing but staring at your lovely photos. Not that I don't mind, it's just that being here with you is oh so much better. Nothing can beat this. Hmm? Well, yeah, of course I stare at photos of you all night long. You're just so pretty. And how do you expect me to get past each and every single night of my life without you? Because it's hard. It's really hard. And after all, you are the one I fell in love with. It's not weird, right? Tell me it's not weird. Is it weird? No, it can't be weird. It's not weird that I keep a big old photo album full of our happiest moments together. There's nothing weird about that, right? Tell me. Do you think it's weird? You think it's a bit crazy? But why? Why do you say that? Mm. Well, I guess it's all your fault. I mean, how could I possibly ignore such a beautiful person like you? You're everything I could ever ask for and more. I just really, really love you. Really, really, really love you. Even if you, uh, don't love me back. Yet. You'll love me back one day, my love. One day, one day. I will keep on waiting like I always have because waiting a couple of years is nothing compared to how long I've already waited. But even though I, I still can't believe you wanted to be my girlfriend even when you didn't actually love me. Crazy, right? Huh? I did what now? I forced you to be my girlfriend? I don't remember. Sorry, I don't remember. But... But I would never force you, right? I would never force you. Or maybe I... Never mind. By the way, I have something to ask you. It's very important. I need to know. When... When will you fall in love with me? When will you love me the same way as I love you? Tell me. Tell me. I need to know because... Because it hurts. You know it hurts me, right? It hurts to know that you're not in love with me. It hurts to know that I... That I give you all my love just to get nothing in return. It really does. So tell me, how long do I have to wait? When will you fall in love with me? Never? Did you just say never? Never isn't a very nice word. I... I really, really do not like that word. I'm 
I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that, okay? And you're going to have to pretend that you never said that. I don't get it. I... I don't understand. Why don't you want to be with me? I've done so much for you. More than you could imagine. And... And I plan on continuing to do so. So why can't you love me? Why? Forget it. Forget it. This is a sleepover. We should be having fun. <laughs> and just, just thinking about the two of us confined to this one bedroom together, it's, it's such a dream come true. Oh, I've always wanted to spend every second of my life with you. And now I can. With a sleepover. We should have sleepovers every night, shouldn't we? That way I can always be here with you, instead of only during the daytime. What? Your parents? What about your parents? You don't think they'll let me come over every night? But... But they do know that I'm your loving boyfriend, right? And that I care about you so, so much, and that I'd do anything for you. Forget it. Don't worry about it. I will... I will, uh... Have a little friendly chit-chat if they don't let me. Hmm? Don't hurt them. Uh, my love... When have I ever hurt anybody? Actually... A lot of times, huh? But it's okay. It's okay. I will promise you. I will promise. To you. That I won't do anything bad to them. I'll... I'll just have a little chit chat. That's all. So, chances are, we're going to be having sleepovers every night together. In fact, you could even call it living together. Like husband and wife. I want you to be my wife one day, you know? I want to marry you. And go to all these different places with you. And enjoy everything life has to offer. With you, of course. And only you. How does that sound, my love? Sounds incredible, right? Mm, you don't want to talk? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You don't need to say anything. I know it's a big decision in life to get married, but the good thing is, you have all the time in the world to decide. I should also add that you really only have one choice, because I'm going to marry you no matter what. I'm going to marry you no matter what. That's how much I love you. I love you way too much. I love you way, 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 way too much. You have to be mine. Nobody else can have you. It has got to be me. You don't look very happy. Can you smile for me? To show, to show me that you're you know, happy and still here with me. I really don't want to see you sad like this, especially not during our sleepover. We're supposed to be having fun. Mm. Want to know something? I think you're beautiful and really adorable. 
So you're smiling now. Finally, I swear, you have the most, the most gentlest of smiles ever. Oh, it's so fragile. I wish you could smile more, you know. You always seem so sad. But I guess even though you're sad, you're still just as beautiful as when you're happy. But still, you should be more happy, okay? Can you promise me, my love, to just try, to try to be a little bit happier, please? Please do it for me. I love seeing you happy. It makes me happy to see you happy. So, can you be happy? Please, pretty please. Only if I promise you something. Mm, okay. What is it? What do you want me to promise you? Don't hurt anybody ever again. But, I... I... Fine. Okay, I promise. I promise. I won't hurt anybody. So now you have to be happy. See? We're like a real couple now. But... Uh, about my promise... What if... What if somebody... Tries to... Hurt you? Then what am I gonna do? You can't possibly expect me to just stand there and watch you get hurt. Because I can't do that. I can't do that. There's no way. I... I might get a little... difficult if that were the case. I... I don't know if I can keep your promise. Sorry. Sorry, I got a little emotional. It's a bad habit of mine. But I'm serious. What if something were to happen to you? What if some random guy walks up to you and starts talking to you? What do you expect me to do? Do you expect me to just stand there? I... Sorry. Not very good at this, huh? Okay. I promise. I won't hurt anybody. I swear. I won't hurt anybody. Pinky promise. You should go to sleep. It's getting late. It's 10pm. And you need a healthy amount of sleep to be at your best. Hmm? Too early for you? What do you mean, too early? It's 10 p.m. <sighs> well, I care about your health, so I want you to go to bed. Now. Right now. What about me? Oh, my love, don't you worry about me. I'll sleep when you're asleep. After all, who is going to keep watch over you? Who is going to keep watch over my fragile little angel? It has to be me. It's got to be me. I won't let anybody else do it. And besides, I did promise your parents that I'd protect you after all, right? So think about it this way. Me watching you go to bed is part of protecting you because you can't be too sure what might happen at night even if it's your own home now go to bed